Good morning, Keller Williams, and welcome back to the KW Command 66 Day Challenge Pro Coach Mini Series. And today we're going to talk about permission levels and guest users. So, over the last two days, we've learned how to get access to the Pro Coach account and then how to work with your MCA to add agents to that roster. So, we are going to go into the team account here. And we're going to go into settings and a couple things that I want to show you. First of all is permission levels. So again, to access your team members, you would click on general settings and then team management. This is where you're going to see all of the team members on the actual team. Uh, role, this is actually set in the team tool that Mike showed us yesterday. Um, it's not really going to make a huge difference. Here is one piece that I would recommend. The Pro Coach account already has a Rainmaker assigned to it. It's basically kind of a uh, an agent, if you will, I use air quotes, that's been created by KWRI to be the Rainmaker. I would not recommend that the Productivity Coach be a co-Rainmaker. I would recommend instead that the Productivity Coach be added as an agent on the team and then given unlimited permission levels. Reason being is there are several issues or kind of um, concerns that come up when you have dual rainmakers with regards to things like smart plans, lead routing, um, custom tags, things like that. So several things that have come up. My recommendation and best practice would be that the productivity coach is added as an agent, but then named rainmaker in the team, not named, excuse me, not named rainmaker, but instead given unlimited permission levels. So you're going to see this drop down box next to every agent on your team. And this drop down box will only be visible if you are logging in as the pro coach on the pro coach account. So uh, essentially as the rainmaker, but this is where you can change the permission levels of the agents on your team. Unlimited, what can unlimited do? Basically everything that the rainmaker can do. That includes um, archiving contacts, deleting contacts, um, exporting all of those types of things. So unlimited can basically do everything that the rainmaker can do. Um, enhance can do everything except for delete and archive. And then standard is basically what you should have all of your agents on your team uh, be. Standard prevents agents on the team from seeing other agents' contacts if they are in the team account. It prevents other agents from seeing opportunities as well if they're in the team pipeline. If you have enhanced or unlimited, you can see all contacts in the team account and all opportunities inside of the team pipeline. So enhanced and unlimited, uh, enhanced might be great for if you have a transaction coordinator, if you have um, a VA, maybe a cyber backer or someone from my VA team working with you, um, you might give that person enhanced so that they can see all contacts and opportunities, but there's no way for them to delete archive or export. Unlimited, again, great for the productivity coach. If you have a launch coach, if there are more than one coaches, um, more than one coach, then you would do unlimited there. Um, I said earlier VA and I misspoke because your VA is not going to be able to be added via the team tool because they are not an agent in your market center. This is where the guest accounts come in. So if you click on add member like we did yesterday, you'll see in this drop down, this is team member and this is going to be somebody in your market center. They have a quid ID. They are actually an agent in Winmore that can be added via the team tool. But if you do have a VA or a transaction coordinator that's third party, that's not actually going to be added to the team, this is where you can use guest user. Now, just a heads up, you only have two guest user accounts, so important to manage those appropriately. But when you click on add guest user, you can see I only have one left because I've already used one for testing purposes here. Martin Miller is my fake admin. So you would put in the first and last name the email address for your admin, and then what you want their password to be. Note that this will send a request to your MCA. The MCA basically has 72 hours to process or reject that request. After 72 hours, your admin should receive an email to this address that you put in, giving them their username and password, and that way they can actually log in as a guest user. You'll see them just like this. So it'll actually say team admin and you'll know they're the guest user because you're going to have this kind of uh, unique identifier here, if you will, underneath their name. Now, a guest user can also have additional permission levels. 
So you can make your guest user enhanced or unlimited. I would not recommend unlimited. I would probably recommend enhanced there. So that's basically how you're going to manage the team members after your MCA gets those added. Again, I would not recommend that the pro coach be the rainmaker. Um, I did have a question yesterday come up. What if we have more than one program or what if I'm a productivity coach from more than one market center? Well, you cannot be on more than one team at a time. But remember the rainmaker when you're logging in as the pro coach you're logging in as a separate agent you're actually logging in as that dummy agent that is the rainmaker of that account so a productivity coach can log in as that rainmaker on multiple different accounts there is no way to manage them under one so they would have separate usernames and passwords but then they're managing the agents on each one of the teams at each one of those market centers separately the same case would hold true we talked about the ability to request a second account. If you have a second account, then you're logging in to ProCoach Team A and ProCoach Team B with two separate usernames and passwords and basically managing them independently of one another. So that's it for today, guys. Just managing your team members, adding permission levels, and how to add a guest user for that VA or transaction coordinator that you may have working with your team. Uh, next week, we're going to dive in. Actually, tomorrow we'll have a video, but uh, coming soon, we're going to dive into the two most important functions of this account. That's going to be lead routing and then transaction management and reporting. So stay tuned. It's coming soon. Hope you guys have a great rest of your Thursday. And as always, I'll look forward to speaking with you again real soon.